I have no idea what that number is. Oh, well. hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Vigante. So, it is the uh, Crips Run of Doom. I don't have... I, I got some random potions to qualify. We might as well do it now, because currently we've... We've got death protection on, but it's uh it's not regular death protection. It, well, it's not our normal amulet. It's uh it's a kind of shitty replacement, a uh, shitty very temporary replacement. Now at this point we do like 40 to 50 damage per strike, which is like really really solid. Hey, I'm flabbergasted. I have not murdered this guy yet. I also have like 13 potions of featherfall. I should probably stop buying them. Um. But uh, we're no longer we're no longer getting our magic stamina back, which I'm actually kind of sad about, because that was really cool. I I think it's a uh, I think it's a factor of like how fast you attack, which is kind of a shame, because I missed that. That was cool, and well, no such luck anyway. Jeez, there's a lot of dudes all over the place. Now the nice thing is we're still taking a lot of damage here, which I'm not super keen on. Uh. But, uh, what I could do... Well, I mean, what I'm gonna do is keep scumming. We've got a number of potions of magic, and, like, pretty much no matter what we do, we're going to, uh... We're... No matter what we do, we're, we're going to be okay. Ooh. Um... It's just kind of a mad matter of, like, trying to save up for as much scumming as possible. It's just... Well... I can't, uh... I can't scum like I used to because we don't have that mad. Ah, man. And the problem is I actually threw away my old sword because it's like, I don't need this anymore. It's just got a bunch of, like, negative, uh, it's just, well, I mean, it had a bunch of, like, positives. I, I think it had a really good luck bonus comparatively. Though I don't think, don't, I don't remember it being that much better than, uh, I don't remember it being that much better than what we had. Now, what I'm probably going to do for this floor, seeing as we got a Shrine of Light, I'm going to be scumming as hard as I can. Uh, just because I'd like to get the scum out of the way early, plus things are going to get harder and harder and harder the longer we're in the crypts, just because we're going to get, uh, surrounded by more and more enemies, and it's not going to be pleasant. Luckily, I've got some regeneration. Yeah, really, I just need the good equipment. If I can find, uh, that, sh that Shrine of Shackling... Uh, the sh Shrine of the Shackled. That'll help a lot. But, like, if you notice, just how many, uh, just how many Zambles we're dealing with here. There's a lot of them. At least, at least, like, the enemies, the, the basic enemies aren't really the problem anymore. It's just sheer quantity of them. I, I guess you can actually consider it basic enemies at that point, but, uh, I don't know. Now let's... Did I auto block that one? I did. Okay, there we go. Now let's, let's just uh, let's use the Shrine of Light a couple of times. Keep ourselves up. Unfortunately, it's directly on top of uh, a blade trap, so I'm not super keen on um, I'm not super keen on using it. Come on. Well, I guess we're gonna be full health. Yeah, no, I shouldn't use the Shrine of Light. That said, I've got so much. I've got so much money that it probably doesn't matter. And, like, the nice thing is, the farther we get in the crypts, the more money we're going to make per floor. So there's that. I just really wish I could use... The, the problem is the shrines are stacked directly on top of each other. Oh, you hurt. The shrines are stacked directly on top of each other. So... I don't think we're going to be using the Shrine of Blood for this floor, which is a shame. I really wanted to use it. Oh, well. I'm just going to leave him there. You can deal with it. So at this point, we can almost two-shot mummies. Zombies? Zomb mummies? Zambles? I don't know. I like calling them Zambles for no good reason. I, I guess I've been playing a lot of uh, Killing Floor lately, and it's like, all right, fine. Let's just adopt a weird terminology that only I use. Because nobody else calls them Zambles. They're called Zed in the game. I just... Look. Words. Words are, are my playground. Phrases are my... Uh, I don't know. Look. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> Let's see. Crypts 30. I'm not actually, uh, Forkant, I am not actually playing Rogue. I'm actually playing Warrior. For once. Oh, shoot. I think it was right next to the exit, too. So, new new thing I've kind of run into in this go. Oh, you are not pushing me into the walls. We've seen where that goes. It's not a pretty place. But, um... No, this is, this is a Warrior run. This is the most powerful Warrior run I've ever managed to do. 
to do. That said, like, I've probably, well, no, the, the one directly before this probably would have been better, but I kind of, kind of lost it. Okay, so we're going to hold on to that, because I might as well use and abuse the magic stamina. Okay, and seeing as we don't have uh, our usual boost. Anyway, uh, let's see. It's kind of a hack job. Ah, that hurt. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so see that hole directly be below the door to leave? You do not, you absolutely do not want to fight any hands near that. That will kill you. Just flat out instantaneously. Are my, all my rings are cursed, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. That's a garbage ring anyway. Let's actually toss both of these because their inventory is full. Okay. Do I not? Nope. No. No Shrine of the Shackled. Weird. Well, we don't need the gloves. And I can heal up. I might as well heal up here and stuff like that. Hey, LCXD. How's it going? <laughs> no need to apologize to me for uh, mistaking Wander for Wonder. Uh... I would, I would have been Wonderbot if I had, you know, the the inherent campi campiness that would let me get away with it. Also, I, I don't know, Wander. I would rather be called Wander than Wonder. Even though a lot of people start calling me Wanda, which gets kind of annoying. Okay, so we're going to be fu full health leaving this floor. Let's, let's actually leave here and stuff like that. Ah, uh, but still. Okay. So, max health. That's good. Um... Right, luck, because we've maxed out almost everything else. We've got three into intelligence, that's all we need. Then we're probably just going to start piling, them in, piling it into uh, vitality, just so we get base health of 200. Now, it's magic mapping. I want to find a... Okay, wait. Okay, good. It looks like that shrine of, shrine of blood is in a safe spot. Things that I'm worried about. Holy crap, downstrike. I do a lot of damage with downstrikes. Just hey, hey, hey woohoo! That's a lot of that's a lot of zambles. Uh, zambers. No hugs for them. Just death. I mean, I guess it's sort of a hug. It's just my sword is the one doing this hugging. So the nice thing is. The nice thing is I don't take too much damage from this. Let's see, did they notice me? Okay, now they've noticed me. Oh, I'm so glad I can scoop while striking, because we're going to take too much damage from, like, a lot of these guys along the way. Because there's no iframes in this game. I complain about these things a lot, but, uh, hopefully you guys are still there. Hopefully they've noticed me now. No, do not want to attack directly next to that thing. Let's just smack him a bunch. Because I want to I wanna use and abuse that Shrine of Blood. And they're not letting me. Okay, come on. Because if it's just one, I can do it. Okay, is that it? That's it. Okay, it's clear. Uh, let's clear the floor first. Why was I attacking that much slower with that one? Uh, now I think I've already had all of my like bonus potions, but that's okay. I don't really need them. But uh, come on. Yeah, these, these zombies are very stupid. You can bounce on their heads and they don't actually even notice you. Unless you actually see them on the very, very, f uh, well, like, if you, unless they actually see you in front of them. They actually just do not give shits about you, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I don't actually have boulder protection. However, there are no boulder traps in the crypts. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of hands. Is it not coming back? Oh, that's what it's doing. Okay. Nice thing is I also have Gold Collector, so I don't have to worry about too much, and those are gauntlets. We do not need gauntlets. I don't like how the hands are telepath telepathic in this game, though. It's, like, weird and wrong. I'm just gonna murder this way, because luckily, even while attacking, I actually move faster than zombies. Oh, man, it makes my life a lot easier. Now, let's actually pop this now. Do we have anything else I can use here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hoping we have a... Trying to blood. Oh, can't hit him. Okay. Come on. There are two ghosts. There are two ghosts attacking me right now, and I do not appreciate it. 
That's okay. Problem solved. Let's get out of here. But yeah, so I don't have full spike protection yet. I currently have, like, the, the kind of shitty kind where you still take five damage. I'm trying to get uh, light feet so I don't have to worry about it, but it's not exactly being forthcoming. You... You and your positioning is just downright atrocious. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh shoot, I forgot the treasure chest on the previous floor. I probably walked straight by it and stuff like that, but still. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, let's drink the potion of strength. Our inventory is getting full. How did I forget the treasure chest on the previous floor? Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. Whatever. It's not like it really matters. It's by the potion of defense. Because anything I, anything I can, um... I can bolster right now, the better. Just because we st still do actually take full damage from the Zambros. Uh, despite my 33 defense, yeah. So it must be like a... Some kind of like weird... I don't know what the math is on defense in this game. Like, I, I don't always take full damage. But sometimes I take like uh, a lot more than I think I should. So there's a treasure chest here. A lot of Zambles. No, that probably wasn't worth it. All right, I'll let, I'll let them do their thing. Now, if I can do 150 damage, really, if I can max out luck, we'll probably be critting left and right, which is exactly what I need. Well, this is some kind of nonsense. Oh, that was almost inside the wall. Oh, do not want to... I would hate to lose this run as a result of being stuck inside the universe. In, inside of a wall. That's like the shittiest way to go at this point. Scroll recharge, scroll of lightning. Anyway, let's see. Uh, nope. Bad time to be in my inventory. <sighs> Reading tips from chat. Okay, so I didn't use invulnerability well. You must cast, and you become invincible when you start to use mana. And until you use... I forgot some of the floor. Floor bar. I don't even know. Oh, hey, there's there's uh, our shrine of, the, shrine of the Shackled. Let's see if there's anybody else hanging around over here. Okay, so as long as we don't see any hands, scoot down that hole, we're okay. So first and foremost, let's get this maxed out. Perfect. Glowing anchor, uh, glowing kerchief. Those are some nice stats. The plus three luck bonus is what we're looking for, because our luck is inherently um, fixed. Because uh, the only thing we can do is put points into it. But uh, there, there are no shrines that increase luck. So if I can get more. Hey, sausage, sausage lord. How's it going? Okay. So we get potion of regeneration, potion of poison. Do not really care for potion of poison at this point. Oh, but I got bigger fish to fry. I'm trying to eradicate all ha hands and stuff. Hey, Cool Rack, how's it going? Okay, so I've got... I've got a dagger. I mean, the... wait, no, that's not just a dagger. Oh, right, our luck might actually be high enough at this point that we're actually able to get multiple items from chests, which is cool. Okay. Let's see. I've got I've got the homing bow, but I'm not super keen on it. We've got a lot of other stuff to jump. Let's actually pop that. I have no use for it. And we do have this secret area over here, which I probably don't care about. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to eradicate all hands, just in case. Because they do have the tendency to scoot down that hole. Directly beneath the uh, exit door. And that is that is how uh, a very sad death happens. A very sad, very sad Wanderbot death. Okay. So. Let's, let's get out of here. Okay. The other thing I did do, just in case we lose to, like, some really horrifying freak accident, is I did actually back up the save file. I'm not super keen on, like, using backups and stuff, because, I mean, this is a roguelike. Uh, scumming that hard, I think, is an unethical, but if it's, like, some kind of weird bullshit, like them wiping saves and stuff, uh, at that point I might actually... Uh, call it justified. Anyway, let's, uh, let's sc scum out as much as I can. So I've got nine potions of magic. Wait, why am I do? why did I drink that? I don't even know. Well, that was a bad move. <laughs> I actually regen mana faster than I have, uh, for cooldown. That was dumb. I wish it kept adding to your magic, magic pool. I actually really wish that, uh, 
that's how that's what potions of magic did. They just increase your magic stamina instead of this like weird fast uh fast recharging magic. Oh well. Well, let's just heal as much as possible cuz I'm I'm swimming in magic stamina. And I'm not able to use this shrine of light. So that's kind of out. But that's okay. I'm just Ah, I love it. I love it when I auto block the uh the the bloody. It is nonsense and it shouldn't work that way, but it does and it makes me very happy. <laughs> a very sad death is a pork chop death. Oh, that is absolutely true. Whoa. I'm down to six hit points. <laughs> I should probably I should probably avoid going down that far. Uh that said, whatever. Not like it really matters, but yeah, no, that that previous run, I mean, truly did not have that much more potential than this one does. In fact, at this one, uh at this point, we have uh just about as much potential as like any other run. But still. Well, now now here's where we start using the potions of magic, because I might as well scum them out. Then we'll take one potion of regen and just heal through the next floor. I'm so glad. I can heal. Oh no. What time is it? 12.30. I wonder if there's like a 12.30 blip on my internet. That's interesting. Also, hi Dragon Reaver. Don't think I noticed that. Uh, notice you come in. Okay. Also, hey Chris Ors. Jeez, there's a lot of people hanging out tonight. And a lot of talkative people hanging out tonight. And I wasted my potion of magic. Whatever. It's no big deal. Let's keep drinking them. Because honestly, might as well. Get them out of the inventory. Stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, internet internet issues are the one thing that I truly cannot solve, and that, that scares me a lot. But, uh, well, as long as things are working, I don't have to worry about too much. And apparently people are watching Halo advertisements. I have not played a Halo game in years, and that actually makes me really sad. Because I really enjoyed the Halo universe back when I was, um, kind of more into it. I, I guess, really, I never stopped being into the Halo series. I just, I haven't... I haven't had access to an, X an Xbox 360 in about two years now, and so I haven't been able to be, like, I haven't been able to watch, or, well, not watch, I haven't been able to play, like, Halo 4, or the, the what is it, the Master Chief Collection, stuff like that. Um, also, see you at have a good one. Um, but, like, man, uh, the, the Halo series has always been kind of one of those where it's, like, super near and dear to my heart. Purely because of, like, just kind of the 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 universe they crafted around, like, the the Halo series. Jeez. Here we had 32 before the internet decided to derp out on me. Now we're down to 16. Hopefully they all come back. Hopefully they all get the, the message that uh, Wanderbot did not end the stream. But you never know. And that's kind of terrifying and stuff like that. Okay. <sighs> Kurosuit uh, Toka. Do not ever take me playing Vigante as, like, how you play Vigante. In fact, this is about as counter to Vigante as you, uh, as you can get. Because, um, this is, like, weird bullshit, like, become super overpowered for no good reason. Because the crypts are a dangerous and scary place. Okay, how many do I have left? Three. That's not so bad. Uh, so at this point, I might actually save them for, um, healing back up. I'll do what I can. But I, I think I'm gonna save the rest for healing back up to semi-full. Just in case. Plus, I don't want to spend too much time scumming. It feels boring. I really miss my ma magic steel sword, though. I'm using it, but I attack so fast it doesn't trigger anymore. Which is really disappointing and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah? No, we're actually gonna have more than enough health. Let's, uh... Let's save that last one. I should be able to heal plenty as we go on. Okay, perfect. Uh, so. Okay, yep. People are filing back in. That is good. Okay, so... 
Okay, we do have fortune. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, chests have a chance to actually drop uh, an extra item. Chance to resist non-physical damage. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of non-physical damage here and stuff like that. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, what even is the crypts? Yeah. Uh, so the crypts is like the final level for Vigante. Um, so the way the way Vigante works currently, uh, mainly because they haven't actually had... Ah, uh, where'd you come from? Uh, they, they haven't had uh, the development time to like really add much to the end game of this game. The crypts is... Uh, currently been fixed up a lot, actually. Nice. I like murdering those guys. And smacking them out of the air. But uh, the Crypts is kind of their, their last level. I'm hoping they add more levels to this game. Maybe not to the end. Like, I'd, I'd actually kind of hate for them to tack more on. Oh, you need to get out of my face. Um, I'd hate for them to tack more on. But I would love to add... I would love for them to have, like, multiple pathways through the game to spice things up a little bit. Oh, hello. Um... What if they see me from there? Yeah, okay, so they saw me up there. Perfect. Um, but so the crypts is the level immediately following the the forest. There is technically the catacombs. No, no, the ancient runes. My bad. Also, purple phantom, you are still here. Good. That is the abomination uh, that you were asking about. It is the new boss, and it is terrifying. Oh, he has noticed me. Let's actually heal up over here. Like, can I switch bows? Perfect. Probably didn't need to, but still. Uh, homing arrows probably... What the? There's a lot of just death over there. Oh, shit! Shopkeeper's pissed at me now. Knew this day would come. I don't even know what happened. Oh, I know exactly what happened, actually. The, uh... Oh, man, the abominations loose little orbitals and stuff like that. Uh, like the ice room. Yeah, that's the, that's the ancient runes. Uh, but the, the orbitals just flew off in a direction and apparently smacked him a bunch, uh, pissing him off. That's kind of annoying. Oh well, not the end of the world. Let's see, what is my deck stat? Uh, I, I can do a stat check in a second when I'm not beset by infinite zombies, ghosts, and other creatures. Oh, shoot. I, do I not have both of them equipped? I don't. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. Let's see if... Nope. Okay. It did hit it. Okay, I got a homing bow too, which is kind of nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite make the uh, pull back on the bow that much faster, which is kind of a shame. It does a little bit, but not as much as I'd like. Anyway, come on. At least I can downstrike them to death. Okay, so my stats are, seeing as I'm probably not being as beset, we've got 55 strength, 51 dexterity, 11 vitality, 6 intelligence, 18 luck, and 33 defense. My stats are through the roof. Uh, which is because of all the scumming I've been doing. Anyway, oh, sweet pork chops. And I can pick it up. Perfect. Wow. This has been a very productive level. Very productive level. Let's keep going. Probably not worth it. Oh, wait, no, absolutely not worth it. I don't need anything else. I've got a backup amulet of death protection. That's all I need. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look. Uh, anything else? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're looking for a Shrine of Blood. Probably not going to find one. Still, I don't think I've got any more scum items to curse up. Or, hmm, because I had the ring. But I decided not to curse it because it didn't have an in interesting effect. Honestly, if I could get if I could get a magic sh shield ring, I'd be really happy because I don't have one of those, and it'd make my life a lot easier. Uh, let's hold on to that just for a second, just in case. Small chance, uh, small chance we're not gonna have a shrine of blood here, and there's no reason to waste a perfectly good book on a scumless run or a scumless floor. Come on. At this point, I'm just kind of rapid attacking straight through. We've got a lot of bombs, which I'm not super keen on using. Yeah, <laughs> that hurt. Oh, whoa! It came back with a vengeance. They usually don't turn back around, but that one did. I was not exactly keen on what it was doing with its life. Oh shoot, that's a that's a lot of zombies. Okay, let's just. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so apparently dexterity does actually increase your pullback 
rate just a little bit. Also, homing seems to be pretty goddamn top. I don't actually know what I'm hitting over here. I'm hitting something, though, because they're not going down. Oh, you know what? It was auto-acquired on... Um, it's auto-acquired auto on that. So I'm just going to learn the book. Get it out of the way. You're useful. No, you're not. Okay, no reason to hold that around. If I had another, like, really good uh, amulet of life protection, I'd keep it around as a backup, just in case. Okay. <laughs> It'll be a sad day when we start a new run and it does two damage. Yeah, that is absolutely true. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we got a shrine of blood on this floor. Alright. Not a big deal. Like, I really need them, and I might as well heal as I go along. Also, apparently I hadn't learned spirits yet. I guess there are a number of spells I haven't bothered with yet. Okay. Well, let's get our butt out of here, because equipment-wise, we have... We have, like, one god curse ring, one ring that probably doesn't need god cursing, just because the, the stats on it are garbage. It's vitality and strength and defense. Like, that is actually a really bad ring. Let's get out of here. Oh, shoot. Let's get out of here before bad things happen. Also... Hey, Moon Loon. How's it going? Okay, so... Uh, max out luck. Resist non-physical damage. Next up, let's heal. Let's heal as much as I can. Because I'd love to scum as much as humanly possible. We've got potion of attack. Well, we've got a potion of strength, and we've got a potion of speed. So we can double the machine gun more than... I Honestly, maybe I should actually hold on to... I should maybe hold on to a bunch of speed potions just for fun. Let's see. I'm having a great day if it's not obvious. This is this is fun. I like oh, man. I'm one of those like kind of I'm not gonna say like a bad player. Ooh, okay, that was interesting. Um There was a lot of death that happened over here, to say the least. Um I'm one of those people that like is an unrepent Oh shoot. Well, there goes our scum shrine. Dang it. Uh... But I, I'm, I'm one of those people that, like, unrepentantly will go for, like, the most ridiculous possible run. I, I, like, if possible. I have, like, no shame or morals when it comes to playing video games. I, I will I will have like the most gross overpowered bullshit run you can possibly get just because I can uh, So this this is just a lot of fun. Okay, but uh, what is my opinion on the wanted trait? I actually really like the wanted trait the the bonus to luck is actually really useful I just don't use it that much uh, just because survivor is such a useful perk for like 90% of runs like the the wanted ring is really solid. Like I'm I'm not gonna put that one down. That like it is by far one of the be best perks to start with. The only other problem is like if you're uh, if you're in a bad way, uh, like if you get really unlucky and you don't have a whole lot of bombs or like tactical things like a like a wand of uh, digging, it's gonna be really hard to get like any kind of shopkeeper items. And luckily most shopkeeper items are kind of worthless in this game. Um. So, like, reality of the situation is, it's not so bad. Jeez, that is a lot of dudes. Also, that poor Mimic did not stand a chance, to say the least. I'm kinda pissed I messed up my... My scum shrine. Actually, can I hit them with arrows? Yes, I can! Aha! Oh, that is useful. Alright, uh, you know what? I might as... Let's see. That's homing. It doesn't really have that great of stuff. Um... But let's dump the spear, because no matter what it has, it's not going to be good enough. You know what? We might as well take this off. Let's, uh, let's God Curse the Homing Bow next. Because I was thinking Multi-Shot is good, but Homing Bow gives us a, that extra level of versatility that we need. And we don't have a, we don't have a helmet yet, do we? Oh, no, we do. We, we God Cursed our helmet. Because it has magic regen. Which is nice. Okay. Even though it turns out we don't need it nearly as much as I thought we did. They're just gonna play ring around the rosy over here. All right, fine. See how, see how uh, I handle it. Okay, so we've got necromancer. Oh, this is always funny. 
He does not know how to handle a man with a... Oh, machine gun sword. They patched it. Interesting. So they patched it so the mummies can push you into the wall, but it takes a couple of tries for them to get you there. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder how much the developers watch my videos. Developers, if you're watching this video at some point, please say hi. I remember how your artist used to, and it was kind of nice. Because you would answer questions and stuff. And now I need to, like, get a Skype or something like that just so I can ask him more questions. Seeing as... Like, I don't really want to be the mouthpiece for the developers, but it would be kind of a cool position to be in. Hello. That hurt a lot. Death to everybody. This is also, like... If you've never seen Vigante before, this is, like, just absolutely not how Vigante plays. <laughs> like... Do not expect to do this when playing Vigante. This takes a lot of effort. And a lot of, like, weird, wiggly nonsense to do. Okay, so... Yeah. I mean, most of our equipment's pretty cursed already, so... Stop going into your inventory, one. That's <laughs> how you take, like, the random damage that you really don't want to take. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no. That's a good point. God cursing that ring is probably a good idea. Let's see. Um, so what can I do? Unfortunately, my inventory is getting really full. The magic quiver is kind of a... It's useful, but it's not useful. I don't even know. I'm not going to get rid of all the arrows. We've got a bunch of scrolls of recharge. That's cursed. Well, you know what? Let's max that out. Just drink the potion of strength. It's not like it matters. Use you. Again... Nihilism takes over. What's the point of even doing that? Okay. And I did I did open up the treasure chest, right? I think so. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? Let's go back and uh, god curse our bow. Just because we can, mostly. <laughs> 911 arrows. Somebody call an ambulance. That's cute. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't open up the... I did. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. Let's see. Which class would I suggest unlocking things with, WandaBot? Um... The best class in this game, by far, is the, uh, the rogue. The rogue is super powerful. Really, all you need to do to get to the crypts with the rogue is just put your first three points into the shadow tree and then, like, maybe a point into daggers. And pretty much you're guaranteed to have a good run. It might not necessarily make it farther than that, but it's still a really, really solid, uh, run pretty much no matter what. Okay, so don't care about really any of the other stuff we got in here. So let's bust that up. Then we can God Curse the Homing Bow. Because uh, I was thinking about horizontal uh, horizontal arrows, just because the levels are so freaking horizontal. But the thing is, it's not super necessary, purely because... Uh, at that point, I might as well just stab him. Okay. Hey, Joe Wolf. How's it going? Let's just heal all the way up. Now we've maxed out luck. Let's start maxing out intelligence, and then I'll start doing vitality. Even though vitality really isn't that necessary... Does it give you a defense bonus? Yeah, <laughs> plus one defense bonus. That funny joke. Okay. So there we go. Also, maxing out would give us more magic stamina, which would be perfect. Off we go. Okay. So I've got another magic mapping. I'm hoping I can find a scum shrine that I don't immediately just break. Because that's an embarrassing... Oh, whoops. Surprise pork chop. Didn't even see it there. I really enjoy doing that to people. And by people, I mean mummies. Or hands. Really both. Let's do flame pillar. I'm just I'm just gonna preemptively assume that we're finding a scum shrine here. It's probably not gonna happen. Well, I don't know. There's a there's a decent chance that the either of the scum shrines not popping up. And I prefer geez, there is a lot of ghosts. There's a lot of Casper the not good ghost. The unfriendly ghost. Uh and no, no, no. Casper's the friendly ghost. We'll call uh, the unfriendly ones Caspar. You know, a little bit of that, uh, hmm. Is it French? I actually don't know. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can... Oh, oh, right. We've, uh, we've switched back to multi-shot for a second. Like, multi-shot's going to be the one that does more damage, but it's not more damage that we're really looking for, uh, with the bow, because we don't, we don't need to take people out of their range. As, as long as they're on our level, then it's meaningless. Okay. I'm glad you don't break shrines with, uh... That's scroll of identified, don't even care. I'm glad you don't break shrines with uh, the floor spike traps. That would be horrible. Okay, Caspar is Portuguese for dandruff. 
<laughs> what even? That's hilarious. I don't even, like, I don't really know how to respond to that. But effectively, we're getting attacked by rogue, uh, semi-sentient dandruff, which is horrifying on a number of levels. Okay, so at this point, we barely take damage from combat. Occasionally, somebody will hit us for more, uh, more damage than normal, but still. It's pretty rare. And... Let's see. It, uh... I aspire... The other thing I aspire to, and it's not going to happen because you don't actually get a vitality boost in this game, I do kind of wish you could. Oh. Suck it. Suck it, abomination! Eat arrows! That's the other reason why you want the homing bow. Homing bow makes it a hell of a lot easier to take him out. Because it was, it was pretty convenient that he was actually on our level. Normally, not so much so. Anyway, let's just let them have some fun. Nice thing is you can just kind of bounce off of their heads. I really wish there was no deter diminishing returns on uh, down strikes after a certain point. Now, we still haven't found a scum shrine. Decent chance we're not going to. Oh, well. Caspar, evil Caspar. Caspar, good. Yep. Okay. Nope. Don't think I got any victims from the spike trap. I'm being a little bit lazy here with uh, fighting all of these guys, just because there are so many of them, and we don't have a... Uh, I really want a sword here, and we have not found another one, and at this point, this one's worthless. Now, I'd love to get a sort of lifesteal that actually works. But chances are, we're not actually going to have a, uh, we're not going to have a sword with a useful effect. I don't, I don't, I, so it's very obvious that we have proc issues because we attack so fast with this one. So that, uh, at the very least, mana steal and... Potentially lifesteal. Also, looks like both of our uh, shrines are right there, and we don't have to worry about instant death. Perfect. Um, oh, hey. Thank you. But, uh... Un unfortunately, uh... Oh, right. Cannot shop at you. Wow, you dumb bastard. Trying to get uh, vengeance on me or something. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. I really wish I could attack down here. Uh, whatever. Not a big deal. Wow. Yeah, I've got 2002. <laughs> wow. I need I need a scum with a shrine of light at some point. We could almost infinite scum. Unfortunately, like the one time they were directly next to each other, it was not exactly a good situation to be in. Other thing I've noticed. I actually so I can attack faster than I have been. I just haven't been attacking as fa as fast as like the the potential um, attack speed goes, just because it's going to murder my hand, and I'm going to have to, like, switch over to some kind of bizarro two-finger approach here. Uh, there's a Zamble. Like, let's see how fast I can, I can attack. That's pretty damn fast. So, at, at this point, I can actually attack about as fast as, uh... <laughs> I can actually attack about as fast as, uh, as I can tap the button, which, uh... I actually am running into more limitations with my ability to tap the button than the maximum. It was like, that's ridiculous. And I, I don't know if that's a result of our maximum dexterity or if it's anything else. I'm just going up here to check. Because at this point, we're on the search for a sword. Hello, that's a lot of friends. Luckily, it's pretty easy to mash A and B together at the exact same time. Which is kind of nice, anyway. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, see ya. Let's keep going. But... <laughs> Wanderbot, did you notice the bounty from the shopkeepers is 500, and I have 2,000 gold? I should corrupt them. I really should. I really wish you could pay off shopkeepers and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, I know. I know I murdered your buddy. I I, I know I murdered your pal, but you know what? You know what? Here, here's here's my bounty. All right. Wow, that is pretty garbage. And you know what? It works. So now we've got a god cursed... Oh, shoot. Ha! Ah. Because our uh, multi-shot bow... Is that okay? So your this is probably going to be super dangerous. Nope, doesn't look like he wanted to do anything. Oh, oh, I'm berserker. Download an auto clicker program. That would be interesting. Hey, hey, the engine room. How's it going? So let's uh, let's come out all of our stats. Is it? Oh shoot. Is the shrine pissed at me? Or is it berserk? Oh, shrine is probably pissed at me from the previous floor. Yep. Nope. Doesn't look like I can do any more scumming here. Let's try on the next floor. But uh, I, I think if you break a shri uh, a blood shrine, the next floor you go to is actually going to be angry at you and won't let you um won't let you actually scum 
in scum for stats because I've run into that before. I don't think it's perma broken. I hope hope not. Yeah, the only reason why I don't want an auto clicker program is because uh, I'm not entirely sure how I calibrate it. Eh. <laughs> Honestly, like the chance the the general uh, I don't know. Not the, the general use of it, but like, uh, I just only ever use it once I've gotten to this point in the game. And this happens actually with a fair amount of frequency now, which is kind of bad, uh, but still. Yeah. Oh, you can win it back over. It costs a lot of health, but uh, that's good to know. Well, I will uh, I will go back and uh, win over the Shrine of Blood on the next floor. I've already, I've already dumped a lot into it. Also, engine room. I stream Vagante very frequently. Uh, I also have a... Oh, God. E engine room, if you're willing to watch uh, YouTube videos. I, uh... Cripes, this is a lot of zombies. Uh, I actually have, like, a... A 90-plus part... Well, there's, like, over 100 videos of Vagante at this point. Uh... But... I also stream every, every night, pretty much same time, for at least an hour, usually two. Especially if I'm doing amazingly well. And right now, I'm doing very well. I'm hoping I can... Wow. Yeah. No, so this is the reason why I wanted to bring a warrior. This is why I wanted to bring a warrior to this area. Okay. Uh, can somebody link in my channel? It's pretty obvious, but still. Um, but, uh, so the reason why the rogue kind of sucks after a certain point in this... Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't actually know you could get the spikes to murder a box. I guess it makes sense. Um, but the reason why, uh, the reason why I wanted the warrior over the rogue, even though it's harder to do, is downstrike actually is going to become a necessity once we make it up to, like, crypts 50, uh, 50 plus. I think we made it to, like, 30 last time. And I'm hoping to make it to 50 plus if I can, because, um, that doesn't look like we got much else. Hello. But uh, if I can make it to 50 plus, what's going to happen is uh, pretty much all of these floors that we're going to be dropping down onto are just going to be rife with uh, zambles, and we don't want to deal with it because it's just going to be uh, it's just going to be zombie, 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 and there's no oh shoot we actually got hit by the spikes. I am so glad I've got spike protection. We still need better boots though. We st we do not have lightfoot yet, and I need it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna switch over to using my index finger for this. Shoot. We want to get rid of the hands. The hands are dangerous. Uh, way more dangerous than most. Okay. Are they going to come after me? Probably. Do I have a... Nope. No scroll of magic mapping. Well, let's do a little bit of teleporty do. Nice thing is it actually identifies stuff for you. That was dirty, but I'm so glad it's not instantaneous anymore. It, <laughs> back when it was instant, instantaneous, the teleportation scroll would drop you right on top of spikes, and that'd be the end of it for you. I'm glad I'm learning how to do that properly. Okay. So we got the abomination coming. Can I hit him? Now his little orbitals managed to... Yep, there we go. His little orbitals managed to block arrows, but it's a lot easier to fight him. Oh, hello. I don't even know how he... He realized I was here. Well, let's destroy his shop because... Question mark, question mark, fireball. Hello, pale wand of digging. Ooh, nice. Okay. So now we have a uh, wand of digging. Not that we really need it, but it's going to facilitate scumming a little bit more. Now, I've already god cursed this, so the only thing, yeah, the only thing we haven't bothered with god cursing yet is our boots, which have amazing stats, uh, but they don't have lightfoot, which is the main thing we're looking for here. Okay, a am I going to break the damage threshold? I hope so. Um, I only do 90 damage right now, and I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can get to the point where I'm doing well over 100 damage. If you can do 150 damage in one strike, you can actually one-hit KO. Or <laughs> one-hit KO. That's not exactly a knockout. No, I did actually just do 100 damage there. Um, but if I if I can do 150, I believe it's 150 or 160. That's how you kill the mummies. Uh, and that's, that's like a really attractive prospect to me. Let's, let's get rid of that cursed amulet of uh, death protection. I'll carry it around if I need to, but, um, chances are I'm going to throw it away just because it's nice to have multiple, but I've already got one on, so it's not, like, hugely important right now. Also, pork chop. Didn't even realize. Well, a little bit wasteful. I haven't seen a Shrine of Blood yet, though. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, still mad at me and just not going to spawn right now. Okay. Well, either way. Let's see. Gotta worry about... Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I I'm getting to the point where it's just, like, flooding me with zombies. Uh, which isn't necessarily, like, a bad thing. And all actually, if you get grabbed by the hand, you actually um, stop colliding with mummies, and it can drag you down to the ground so it doesn't actually bounce on top of them. So it's actually advantageous to get uh, snatched out of the sky by one of them as you go along. Might also just get rid of the bombs. Eh, you know what? Let's get rid of the bombs. Be kind of interesting. You know what? No. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to the bombs. The bombs have a lot of shenanigans. Chances are, you know what? Let's actually just get rid of one of those keys. We do not need it. That's potion strength. Don't really care about those. Doesn't look like we've got any more terror platforms. That's okay. Terror platforms are well terrifying. Why am I also carrying around one of these? Oh, I see. That's why I'm carrying around one. Because I actually had the inventory space for it. Okay, so we don't need gloves. The only thing we're looking for are boots at this point. Boots and a ring. Uh, let's see. So let's think. Yeah, I didn't see a Shrine of Blood. I'm going to go back and check. Thank you, Autoblock. Then again, <laughs> really not relying on it here. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I don't think I saw one coming in. Unless I walked right past it without thinking. I got I gotta double check these things just in case. Cause I wanna I wanna get all the scumming done before we get to, uh, we get past Crypt's 30. Because after a certain point it's actually be gonna become painful just based on the sheer amount of like ones that we take. I'd like to get them out of the way. Um I mean this is all conjecture. It could actually turn out that we'll be totally fine. But uh since we don't have the the shadow for the slightly delayed attack to push us to not push this along, but to, you know, just guarantee that pretty much everything dies. Uh, anything that gets past our, our strikes, which is hard. Um, let's see. Can you just flat out block the spikes? No, you cannot flat out block the spike. You can auto block the spikes, but you can't actually use like the down block to block spike damage. Let's see. Okay, so we're, we're almost maxed out. All we've got left is vitality. Hello, health. Okay, come on, Trina Blood. I got it. I got presents for you. It's called all of my precious bodily fluids. Come here, I'm gonna piss on you. Admittedly, the uh, the boxes are getting to the point where uh, even they can't hurt me, which is kind of nice. I don't exactly know what the defense threshold is with that. Is oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I've got spike protection right now. I'm so glad I have it. Okay, so first and foremost, let's drop, ditch the Morning Star. No matter what, it's not going to be useful for us. Let's poison that and get on out of here. Okay, floor swords are not instant anymore. They have not been instant, instant in quite a while. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, so the reason the reason why floor swords are not currently or are no longer insta gibs are purely because I'm wearing spike protection. Uh, my armor has spike protection on it. If I didn't have that, I would I would have died many times back there. Uh, many times this run. But I make it a point of, like, if I get this far, even if the item is complete crap, if it's got spike protection on it, or light feed on it, I actually bring it with me all the way uh, to the grips. Just because it is way more useful than a couple of stats. Because the, inst the instant deaths are way more likely to kill you than a mummy or a ghost. Even though the mummies and the, the, mum uh, the, mummies and the ghosts are, you know, really hard to deal with, the, uh, the spikes are what kill you. Usually while you're trying to fight the mummies and the ghosts. So I guess it's kind of like a symbiotic death relationship, but still. Oh, I'd rather have light feet and stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, so I don't want to go there. It's kind of a nightmare. But yeah, uh, the one the one way you can block spikes, there there are a couple ways of avoiding damage. There's uh, there's spike protection, there's light foot, and there's also auto blocking. But auto blocking you do not want to have to rely on. That is going to be what saves your ass, and nothing more. Okay, do we have the boss yet? No, he must be down below. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. I don't think there's a defense limit in this game. If there is, I have it. Oh, there we go. 
Unfortunately, the stats on it are garbage, but at the same time, I'd rather have light feet and avoid small amounts of damage here and there. Even if it does mean I'm not going to be able to turbo kill. Uh, this, that, and the other thing. I mean, I could actually just keep these for stats, because these... Ah, uh, plus three block versus plus one. To, actually, uh, uh, let's god curse it and see how it goes. What the deuce is this? This is confusing. Those arrows were like going backwards up through the uh, universe. I don't even pretend to understand what was going on there. Still, not a big deal. Now, inventory is getting very... Oh, right, this is what I was going to do. Let's equip these bombs. And... Where's a safe place to do this? Oh, shoot. I'm glad... Oh. Oh, hey. Really? I didn't know this, but apparently you can have bombs cursed. Like, you can have cursed bombs. Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. Well, we've just lost ourselves an inventory spot. Which is kind of annoying. Why? Because I've got some cursed bombs, and since I've got a god-cursed item... Um, I can't actually take those bombs off. Huh. Thanks, Jizzy Joy. Welcome to the stream, sort of. Even though you're around a lot. Okay, this is... This is annoying. Okay, so so I, I equipped these bombs to use them, but since they're... Oh, shoot, that is a... But uh, I can't take them off. <laughs> oh, man. Well, whatever. I mean, at this point, I might as well actually, like, get rid of the scrolls of recharge, get rid of the... the uh, oh, well. At least wands you can kind of... I, I will be able to get rid of. Let's see, so we've got the treasure key. Let's go back up to the chest, which is two floors up still. This is bullshit. I don't like this. I, mm. I need. I need to talk to the developers more, just to be like, yo, this this thing ain't cool. Still. Oh, I can. Can I? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, who did? Uh, who gave me that one? Let's see. Thank you, minus Z. I actually did not realize you could do this with uh, cursed bombs. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these bomb arrows. Well, let's get rid of all these bombs, turn them into bomb arrows, let's pick them all up. Uh, this is hella dangerous. Okay, so what we're going to do... What is this going to do? It's just going to blow shit up. I'm just going to let him die. Thank you. Now, it does 99 damage. There's a significant probability... That, uh, it won't actually kill us if we use it. Oh, well, either way. Just don't use the arrows for a little while longer. Why am I even doing this? Don't really know. Don't really have a reason. Just, uh, bored, I guess? Huh. Wonder, the, wonder what that's gonna do. Interesting. For science! <laughs> that was worth it. Okay, so we're, we're just not gonna pick up any more bombs. That's kind of a pain in the butt anyway. Okay, seriously. Thank you, Minus Zed, for uh, making that a hell of a lot easier on me. So, um, we no longer have to worry about that. At this point, you're pretty bunch useless. Probably gonna take a look at it anyway. Oh, well, that was embarrassing. Freezing. Not super useful, but uh, still. So we, uh, um, yeah, no, we wanna, we wanna bust this up. There we go. That turbo, cur well, that, that curses our boot, uh, boots and stuff like that. Okay, uh, so that that gets rid of the bomb problem. Hey, we got our, our resolution and bombs. That's cool So at this point, I'm not entirely sure if I wanted uh, we'll see how the stats go as far as the uh, The light feet boots go just because um, at this point we can't take our we can't take our armor off I think I, d I did I did God curse you right? Yeah, okay So I can't take our armor off so that actually it allows us to be picky about uh, our current He did not survive. It allows us to be very picky about, like, what we pick for boots, just because five damage is not much in the grand scheme of things. So there was no Shrine of Blood here, was there? Dang. 
Yeah, no shrine of blood. Oh well. Now, that actually, so the that bomb arrow shenanigans does unlock a couple of like weird things that I can do in the future. Because I didn't realize this, even though it makes sense, bomb arrows can be used on any surface. So as long as you can point yourself straight at it, you could do actually you could actually do some really interesting tactical nonsense with uh, bomb arrows. So for example, if you need to get through a wall, but you couldn't you know get a bomb. Or, and you didn't have a wand of digging, you could actually shoot a bomb arrow straight into it. Of course, that only really works with a, uh, with a rogue, and it would be a hell of a lot easier with trajectory, but at the same time, it's viable. Anyway, let's heal all the way back up, because we still have yet to find a scum shrine here. Which, I mean, really isn't that big of a deal, but still. Might as well. Scum early, scum often, stuff like that. Also, hey... Aragon Rider? Aragon? Yeah, Aragon Rider. Okay, so do we have... Nope, we don't have magic mapping. I'm waiting to get more potions of speed. Why? Because I want to have, like, five potions of speed going if I can. I really wish... I really wish after a certain point you could multi-class into different classes. Just because I think it would be really enjoyable. Also, I really enjoy, uh... Downstriking, um... Hands as they come by. It's very satisfying. Because, um... If you can hit a hand while in the air... It'll actually, uh, it'll actually effectively trip, which is very fun to watch. Also, secrets. Wow, that's a lot of zambles. Also, hello, Shadow Arch. How's it going? Okay. Do I even really care about being here? Probably not. But I'm here anyway. Why? Because unnecessary violence. And we don't really take damage from anything. <laughs> oh man, I love being supremely overpowered. Now what do we got over here? The answer is... Not even death. And someday if I really felt... Uh, if, I, if I really felt being... Oh jeez. If I really felt being dangerous, I could actually, you know, come here without spike protection and see how long I last. The answer is probably not very long. I'll probably like derp something up. Or just forget I don't have spike protection. Which is entirely possible. Anyway, let's <laughs> smack him off. Out of oblivion. The other thing is, uh, if you jump, there's a bit of a there's a bit of, bit of a recharge time on those shrines. Hello, oh, not the shrines, the spike traps. So if you can jump and uh, you know touch the ground after the spikes have properly retracted, you won't take damage, which is kind of nice. Not really a whole lot to do with it, and I generally would avoid doing so, especially if you're not immune to death. But it is fun to do when you're, when you're, uh, you know, not in serious danger of dying. Yeah, we're getting a lot of books here. It'd be kind of fun to be able to insta-cast, uh, well, not insta-cast, but, uh, cast Fireball for free. I'd love to be able to cast Heal for free, but that ain't happening. Stuff like that. Okay. Is it Hero Generations tonight? Yes, it is. Uh, I've run out of recorded videos, so I, I will be playing more of that tonight. Uh, probably after I've done most of my, like, more active roguelikes. I'm playing a lot of this tonight. I'm probably only going to play, like, two hours in the end. I'm just trying really hard to get up to, like, Crips 50, because I kind of lost it the last time. And there is still one way to lose. Also, hey, Lost Archer. How's it going? Sorry, I missed it in the, uh... In that chat. Okay, so he went flying this direction, but he did die. Also, our, I think our defense is actually high enough at this point that uh, we don't take damage from anything. I, I have not healed myself yet, and we have not taken damage. We've got plenty of potions of regeneration. Oh, man. This is overpowered as all get out. I really just want my scum shrine back, though. I haven't seen it in a while and stuff like that. That's uh, just murder. <laughs> so fast, yeah. Now I haven't seen I haven't seen a shackled either. Oh, do not push me in a wall. So there are two ways that we can lose. Uh, both of them I think are bugs. Uh, actually, two ways that I know about. Hey, Razgon, how's it going? I think most of the moderators are asleep for once. I'm not entirely sure. I know Satari was here for a little bit. Might actually be here and just not paying that much attention. I think Shadow is still sick. Should probably get more moderators. Oh well. I'll figure that out as I go along. And death to you. What do you got in here? The answer is nothing. 
that I care about. Did he still have his, uh, he still had his skull and crossbones above his head for just a second there. After he was dead. Weird. I guess his anger transcends the grave. Crazy. Oh, okay. I guess Sitari is here. Oh, wow, you actually are. <laughs> I completely missed the fact that you had started saying things again. Anyway, uh, wow, I barely take damage. Okay. Let's see. Do we have much in the way of blood shrine? Please, no, no blood shrine. Damn. I mean, it might still be here on the floor. I don't know. But I would, I would love to find it. Oh well. Let's just go with the turbo murder. Oh shoot, his his thing is blocking the shots. Ah ha. Oh, he already died. Okay, works for me. And I'm glad there are no bullshit platforms directly beneath the door, because that is actually uh, way numero uno that we can get murdered. Let's see. Let's scratch my back just a little bit. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I I guess as far as like my thing about uh, getting another moderator, I really probably don't need one. I, I I really never even needed one to begin with. Like they they have never. I don't think they've ever actually had to do much, apart from, like, warning people from being a little bit too obnoxious. Eh, there's, like, one or two people that have shown up and stuff that probably deserved a warning. Um, but, like, for the most part, it's just kind of nice having them as, like, a way of making sure that shit don't hit the fan quickly. Uh, shit don't. Uh, shit doesn't hit the fan very fast. Oh, there it is. Uh, because, I don't know. It, it's nice having... Oh, shoot, I don't... Oh, wait, first and foremost... Let's actually take all of those for the extra magic stamina and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> this Wanderbot scratches his no-no square, also known as his upper middle back, which is incredibly hard to scratch. Okay. Please love me. Love me, Mr. Bloody. There we go. Took you long enough. I think I've already killed everything. Ah, sweet auto block. Okay. Now I can actually get two heal spells off in a very short period of time if it would let me. That said, it won't. Oh well. Not a big deal. Either way. Let's see. But, no, my speed is ridiculous. My everything is ridiculous. How am I doing? I am doing great. This, this is what, why I enjoy roguelikes with New Game Plus, or Endless Mode, or whatever you want to call it. Because shit gets stupid, and shit gets stupid in the best of ways. Can I curse Magic Arrow? Oh, you mean the Magic Quiver? No, Magic Quiver is considered ammunition, so you can't actually, uh... You can't actually uh, turbo curse it. I'd love to, man. If I if I had a cursed magic quiver, oh boy, but it doesn't work. Okay, let's scum me. Let's scum me some stats. So it looks like uh, to appease the bloody, you have to pay about a hundred to two hundred hit points. Probably about two hundred hit points. Ooh, five hit points. Not great. Either way, yeah. No, I am. Oh, hey Grove, how's it going? I am. Uh, I am very fast. I am very powerful, and I am. What are my stats right now? 60 strength, 55 defense, 35, uh, no, 55 dexterity, uh, 35 defense. That's pretty solid. Oh, shoot, that's all my magic stamina for the time being. You know what? That's probably good enough. I've already visited the treasure chest, right? Yes. Okay, let's just get out of here. 